Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a harvester for Chia on a second machine. I've seen a lot of people on the subreddit have two full nodes on their home networks and that is highly unadvisable. So I'm going to show you how to properly do this. Now I at first set up multiple machines using a Samba share. So I have my plots connected um, to a network drive that's on another computer. Now this does work and I do like it because you can see it in your plot. However, this is not the Chia way, and this is not how they advise to do it. So I'm going to show you how to set up a harvester, and for me, I was actually a little bit scared to do it, and until I realized just how easy it was. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to the tutorial that they have set up. Now the tutorial can be found at this link, I'll post it in the uh, description. And then you can read a little bit about how it works right here, but the first step that you want to make sure is to go ahead and install um, Chia on all the machines. Now if you already have Chia installed on the on your uh, remote machine that has other plots you can just go ahead and skip this step but since I'm gonna do a try full tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and start this step. So my main machine is actually a Windows 10 and then my remote machines are Ubuntu so I'm gonna install a Chia through the command line using Ubuntu. So if you already have this installed you can skip ahead and uh, we'll start at this uh, direction next. So now to install it on Ubuntu, you can actually go to install instructions. Let's open up this in a new tab. Go to Ubuntu. And here you can see that they give us command line uh, instructions. So I'm going to remote into my Ubuntu machines using PuTTY over SSH. You can do this directly on the machine by opening a terminal. So that it's going to be the exact same as what I'm doing here. All right, so now let's just follow the instructions one by one. So now if you have Ubuntu, you know, 2004, you can just start right here. If you have Ubuntu 18.04, or yeah, 18.04, then you have to install Python separately. So I'm going to do sudo app git update. And it's going to update uh, Ubuntu. Um, this is always good to do. I'm not sure if these two steps are necessary, but it's a safe bet to do them to just make sure that your system is up to date. Um, this should only take a couple seconds. Now that one's done. So now we can do sudo app git upgrade and then do the y parameter. Now I'm going to pause the video and come back when this is done. Okay, so now that Ubuntu is done upgrading, we can continue. So the next step is getting the uh, network or the uh, Chia files from their GitHub repository. So they're going to use uh, Git. Now, they kind of assume that you already have Git installed. So if you don't, what you want to do is just do sudo apt git install and then git git. And this should install if you don't have it. Uh, in my case, I'm pretty sure I already have it. So that's why it's telling me to remove it. Okay, so then let's just copy and paste this so we don't do any typos and then you can just right click into the terminal and click enter now I probably should have maybe moved to a different directory maybe my downloads but that's okay so now let's uh, do CD which is change directory into the Chia blockchain directory we're gonna do SH we're just following exactly what it tells us here install SH so now it's installing it this should only take a few seconds. And then after this, we're going to activate it and then initialize it. And these two steps are important because if you don't do these two steps, well, the rest of the tutorial is not going to make sense. So now it's installing Python 3.8. And I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's done. OK, now Chi is done uh, installing. Now we can do activate and then initialize. So just do dot, dot again, and then activate. All right, and now let's do Chia. INIT for initialize. Now the step is important because if you don't do this well you won't be able to use the Damien. Um, it says uh, no act. So it says I already have the I already had Chia installed in this machine but it will, it will say that no the uh, certificates are installed and it creates a new one. So anyways the next step, so we can ignore installing the GUI since we're not using that. So let's go ahead and go back to the multi-machine uh, tutorial. And here we're going to copy 
the certificate authority directory, the CA uh, directory, in a place that our harvester can reach it. So you can do this either by USB, or I'm doing a network copy um, to the Samba share. So you can find this on Windows by copying it uh, this address. Here, I'll just navigate to it. So you go to your C drive, users, your users um, folder, go to .chia, the main net, and then config, SSL, and then you're gonna copy this directory right here. So just do right click copy, and then um, either copy onto a USB, I'm gonna copy it directly to the machine using a Samba share. Um, and actually it's this one right here. My bad, well I have two actually. Okay, so I'm gonna do it in T, paste it into there. And here it should have uh, these files right here. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next step, if we scroll down, it tells us to make sure that our IP address and the port number is accessible to our harvester. Now, this port number was uh, by default accessible. Um, so, you know, you should be on the same network at least. If you're doing something like a Docker or some like a cloud solution, this tutorial might not be enough for you. And then it says make up uh, backup any settings in your harvester. For me, I would just uninstall the harvester if I had any issues, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and then we're going to run initialize and we're going to do uh, dash C and then give it the path to that directory that we just copied over to that machine. So let's go back here and let's do chia initialize C and then in my case it's in the media folder. Um, what did I copy over again uh, to the T? Okay, so oops. So G, uh, T, and then C, um, C, A. And then you should see those things. It looks like it's um, working pretty right. So it's deleting the old ones, copying the new one, etc. So now that we have that done, uh, it wants us to configure the config so that it points to the uh, full node. So for me, since I already have these plots um, connected, I actually have to disconnect them real fast. So I'm gonna go to add plots and then delete the directories. And you can see that, you know, I lost two plots. Okay. So let's go actually to my farm real fast. So you can see that I have, you know, 50 plots. This is on my main machine. This is another harvester and this is another harvester and you can see that the 51 that just disappeared so I deleted it from this machine. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to config. So you can do chia configure. And if you don't know the uh, command, you can do dash H, which I normally do I have to remind myself. So we're gonna do set former peer. So here it says for each harvester, enter in your main IP address and uh, for the remote harvesters, former peer section. So this, um, is what we're doing right here. So let's do the up and then another dash set farmer dash peer. So my IP address is 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So actually, I already added them. My bad. OK, so then we can just do chia start harvester. OK, so it started. So let's go see if we're getting any more. So it's 0 out of 1. So that means that one of them, because I believe I have two plots, that means one of them is not pointing at the right directory. Um, so let me go look at that real fast. OK, so I figured out the issue. So I'm missing one of the uh, directories here. So I can do chia plots. Um, Add D and then do media chia H and then here you can see that there's another chia H folder in there. So click enter. Now since I added this once it's already started, I might have to stop and start the service. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do chia um, stop. Harvester. Let's just make sure that it's not seeing it yet. Okay, yeah, so I'm still seeing the one. So let's do Chia Stop Harvester. Let's do, just do chia stop all. Okay, so nothing's running. You can see that I'm not getting the one anymore. So let's go ahead and do chia start harvester again. And now we should see two twos. So the harvester is started. So since I already have one harvester that has two, and you know you can see that there is now two of them, but if you want to make sure, absolute sure, what you can do is um, follow the, the, the rest of the instructions down here. So you know it, it doesn't show the plots in the GUI in the plot section, although it does show it um, under the, uh, the challenges, the last attempted proofs. So you can just follow this instruction on the full node. Um, and then I already did this, uh, but the structure, the instructions are pretty straightforward. So it, it, if you do want me to make a video on that, I can. But I have it uh, here. So you can go to users, this, chia, min, mainnet, and then um, go to log, and then go to debug. And then I believe that this might be outdated. So this says um, new signature point. But on here, I say I see new signature point harvester, which is actually a little bit more clear. And this is the harvester that I just added. So you can see that I have this is uh, 127 is a loopback address. So this is your main machine. And then uh, these are two other harvesters that I have running, and this is the third one that I just set up. So, anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you want to make, if you want me to make another tutorial on a different topic, I can. Um, like I said, I was scared to do this at first, but once I saw that you can actually see them um, here, it made me a lot more comfortable. Even though that you can't see it here, which kind of makes me upset, but. As long as I know that it's working, and I, I have seen it, this say one for these. Uh, look, you can see that this is a harvester one because this is eight, and my uh, my main one, my my full node is fifty. So you can see that it is in fact working. Um, I haven't got any since I started the video, but that's okay. Anyways, I I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Bye.